Hello everyone. Today we shall look into few other date functions. Here I have a date time column uh, as a sample data in a column. I'll go to add column and click on custom column. Let us see how to extract day, day from the date. I'll write day. Okay. And in the custom column formula, what I could, what I could write is date dot day. Date dot day is a function where we'll get the output of day of a date time column or date column. I'll insert the date time column which I have. I'll close the parenthesis. This date dot day function gives me the day of the respective date. So this is my first April, 5th April, 9th April and so on. So this is how we cal I mean, uh, custom calculate the day. Moving on to the other function. I'll uh, again create a custom column. Okay, here I, I would like to know the day of week. Okay, I'll write day of week. Here, uh, I'll, I would write the function as date dot day of week. You could click on this and open the parenthesis. Uh, choose the date time column and insert it. Uh, as soon as you insert, you could see that there is optional under parameter. Okay, first day of week. For now, I'll show you what is date, uh, day of week. I'll close the parenthesis and click OK. Here, as you could see that 1st April is my 6th day. It means that in the calendar, you could see that Saturday is my 1st and it is counted as 6. It starts from 0 from Sunday and then it counts as 6 on 1st. Suppose that I want to start it from Monday. What I could do is, I could now use the second parameter uh, in the custom column. As I could uh, see here in the formula bar, I could edit it. I'll put a comma uh, after date time column. For the second parameter over here, what I will do is, I'll write date day dot Monday. I'll type Monday. You could see, you could choose this date dot Monday, day dot Monday, and uh, you could click on this tick mark as you click on that it's you could see that first april is now counted as 5 since it starts from monday as 0 and ends uh, on sunday as 6 so it will uh, count the saturday as 5 similarly you could uh, change as uh, required in this second parameter otherwise sunday is counted as 0 and uh, saturday uh, like uh, till till saturday it is uh, 6 let us move on to the other function. This is all about the day of week. Let us move on to the other function. Let us uh, click on this custom column again. We shall see day of week name. Okay. Uh, this function, what it gives is, it will give the respective uh, day of the week. So as I type day, you could see this uh, day of week name function. Date dot day of week name. Open the parenthesis inside the date time column okay similarly you could see there is a culture uh, you know parameter where we could use it for now i'll show you uh, the uh, default parameter i'll click on it you could see that we have got the respective days first april is uh, saturday you could see the first april is saturday and fifth april is wednesday so this this day of week names are correct with respect to the second parameter you could click on this uh, settings icon over here in the uh, applied steps here in the second parameter i'll put a comma as a culture what i have is by default it is us culture i'll write en dash us so the values won't change because uh, we have the default uh, days as the respective days this culture it is for uh, you know understanding purpose maybe in few very few countries the day of week names would change with respect to the timings so that is where it could help so this is about day of week name uh, let us uh, move on to the other function by uh, uh, let us again choose the custom column and uh, see the other function this is like day days of month okay days in month so this function what it would give is uh, date dot you could say you could see here days in month it will give me total number of days that are present in the particular month i'll it, it would range from uh, 28 
like for february to 31st for december uh, like ranging from whether 28 30 or 31 days so i'll choose my date column insert it and uh, close the parenthesis uh, as soon as i click ok you could see that my april month has 30 days so 30 is populated over the column so this is how days in month is calculated uh, let us see another function which is uh, days days in year i'll click on the custom column i'll type days in year so here i have this date day of year date dot day of year what it could give is in, uh, in 365 days our respective date lies in which day uh, like it will give the count so date dot day of year i'll insert the date time column as usual and i'll again close the parenthesis uh, there are no syntax errors the date dot day of year could give me the respective count of the day within 365 days so you could see that april 1st is uh, 91st day of the year and uh, 5th april is 95th day of the year this is how days uh, date date of date dot day of year would work so we have uh, gone through the date dot day function day of week day of week name days in month and days in year day in year i mean day of year uh, like for now uh, try to uh, refer these functions practice it thank you for watching and uh, we shall meet in the next video